I, I'm, I'm really um, keen to explore what, what learning space is, what that actually means anymore. Um, because for me, there isn't any room. There's no rooms anymore. Um, kids could be learning te technically with anyone, anywhere, anytime. And so, I th but that's not to say that's necessarily the best way. So, you know, face-to-face -face interactions, we know from uh, psychology that mirror neurons are incredibly powerful. Like, we, we pick up the mannerisms, we pick up the enthusiasm from those around us. So you don't learn maths per se, you learn Mr. Smith's version of maths and his enthusiasm for maths, or Mrs. Jones' love of science. And so, it's really important that we don't see um, technology as being the panacea um, for, for engaging kids. You know, give a kid an iPad and think they're going to be engaged. I mean, you're missing the point. They've had them since they were two in mum's coffee shop, right? So it, it's what we're asking them to do with the technology and, and, and it's asking them how can they um, empower themselves to connect and, and find real value in what they're doing. So the ideal learning space is one that is adaptable, that meets the needs of the kids, that can can go with the kid if necessarily, or the kid can come to it in the hub of a community. Uh, there's so many, uh, it's, it, it, I think this, the idea of a learning space is more ethereal. The, the, the most exciting learning space is in here, um, and, and it's up to our environments to, to match those needs.